Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's another Sunday we want to praise and worship. Hallelujah. Amen. Our viewers join us. Karibu sana. Clap your hands and sing.
God. Amen. Let's pray. For those who are able to kneel down, those who are able, just you can kneel down, but it's not a must, a request, those who are able. Just kneel facing the altar, please. Oh, let's pray. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You're King of kings, the Lord of lords, oh, Father. My God and my Father, I come before you this morning. I lift your name and I worship you, Father. I say there's no like you, Father. 
your king of kings, the Lord of lords, O oh Father, your Alpha and Omega, Father, the beginning and the end, O oh Father. Father, you created us in your own image, Father, and we come before you with thanksgiving and praises, O oh Father. We come to your court, Father, with righteousness, Father. We come to your court, Father, with thanksgiving and praises, O oh Father. We adore you, O oh Father, this morning, Father. Receive all the glory, Father. Receive all the honor, Father. Father, O oh Father, you're worthy, my God. Thank you for redeeming us, Father, O oh Father. Thank you for your redemption, O oh Father, through Jesus Christ. We were seen as Father. Through Adam, Father, we were seen as Father, but you came and redeemed us, Father, through Jesus Christ, O oh King of Kings. We lift your, we lift your name, O oh Father, and we worship you, Father. We say there's none like you, Father. Receive all the glory, Father. Receive all the honor, Father. You're worthy, my Father, to be adored, O oh Father. You, there's none like you, Father. Oh, Asante Mungu Baba. Thank you, our God, Father. Thank you that, Father, Jesus Christ died because of us, O Father. Utaturejeshea funguo, Baba. Ambaso shetani alikuwa mezuchukua, Baba. Umeturejeshea, Father. For those who believe, Father, for those who believe in Jesus Christ, Father, they are restored, O Father. The salvation belong to them, O Father. O Father, receive all the glory. Thank you, my God. Thank you, my Father. Father, we come before you. If there's any sin we might have committed, Father, any sinful nature in our life, O Father, or any wickedness in our life, O Father, we nail it on the cross now by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. We sanctify our heart with the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. We sanctify our body with the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. We say there's none like you, Father. You're King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, O Father. You're Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, O Father. We sanctify our heart and our mind with the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. We wash our conscience with the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. Any sinful nature, we take it on the cross. Any wickedness, Father, we take it to the cross now, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. You are worthy, our God, to receive all the glory. You are worthy, our Father, to receive all the glory. And there's none like you, Father. You're merciful, my God. You're merciful, oh, Father. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your restoration, Father. Thank you for your restoration through Jesus Christ. For those who believe, for those who believe, oh, Father, they are restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We pray for Kenya. Father, Zakan country. We commit it unto you, Father. During this time of Corona, Father, we pray that, Father, you are going to remember us, O oh, Father. Let your mercy continue manifesting in our life, O oh, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. We cover the whole of Kenya with the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. We commit the President into your hands. We commit the Deputy President into your hands. We cover them, Father. With the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. During the, this time of Corona, Father, naomba baba wakumuke katika jina la Yesu Christo. Kama kuna dhambi ambayo ametenda kinyume na mapenzi yako, baba, tunaomba wakumbuke. Tunaileto kwa msalaba sasa katika jina la Yesu. Tunayosha na damu ya Yesu Christo. Tunasema wanapo, they are, as they are leading this country, Father, let your favor, let your wisdom be upon them, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for the uh, right, uh, uh, honorable uh, uh, Raila Odinga who went for surgery, Father. We commit him into your hands and we pray that, Father, you are going to restore his health, Father. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Be merciful over his life in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, commit him, we commit him into your hands. Remember him this time in the name of Jesus Christ. We also pray for the parliament, oh Father. We commit the parliament, Father, into your hands, Father. As they are making laws, oh Father, let them fear you, oh Father. Let them remember that, Father, you are their stewards, oh Father. They are steward, oh Father. They were given this nation, Father. They were given the parliament to make law on your behalf, oh Father. Father, I pray that, Father, they're going to have mercy. They're going to remember, Father, that when they're making laws, Father, they're not going to oppress your people, Father, in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. I commit them into your hands. And the judiciary also, I commit it unto you, Father. As they are dispersing justice, oh Father, let your love, let your favor be upon them, Father. As they are making those decisions about corruption, Father, let them know, Father, they are working on your behalf, oh Father. Let them know that they are stewards, oh Father. Let them know, let them know Father, whatever decision they are going to make, oh Father, <coughs> it's going to help. <coughs> oh Father, thank you, thank you, Father. The decision they are going to make, oh Father, let them know, Father, it's going to come from you, Father. Receive all the glory and all the honor, Father. We also pray, Father, for our youth, oh, Father. For our youth, Father, they are having some challenges, oh, Father. There are reports which are coming that they are getting pregnant, pregnant, oh, Father. That spirit of pregnancy, Father, we take it to the cross now in the name of Jesus Christ. We sanctify our youth with the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. And we pray that, Father, I cover them wherever they are with the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. They are protected by the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, you are worthy to be praised this one like you, Father. Father, we pray for the church of Jesus Christ. We commit it unto you. During this time of Corona, Father, we pray that, Father, they are going to apply the blood of Jesus Christ in their homes, Father, wherever they are walking, Father, like the Israelites who apply the blood of Jesus Christ on the doorpost, oh, Father, we pray that, Father, their homes, they are going to apply the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, the blood of Jesus Christ is going to protect them from redeem, uh, from the, 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 the coronavirus, oh, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Christians are protected, Father. They are protected by the blood of Jesus Christ. They are protected wherever they are. When I put 
nyumbani wanapoenda kazini mwao wanaporudi nyumbani baba umewalinda katika jina la Yesu Kristo corona will not come near them father in the name of Jesus Christ father receive all the glory and all the honor we come in the church of Jesus Christ continue walking with the church of Jesus Christ for those who don't know you father for those who really don't know the restoration of Jesus Christ the blood the precious blood of Jesus Christ father i pray naomba watembelee mmoja na mwingine katika jina la Yesu wakumbuke katika jina la Yesu Kristo father also put commit uh, wachungaji wote wa uh, kanisa la Yesu Kristo mikononi mwako baba wakumbuke wakati huu katika jina la Yesu Kristo wanapokuomba baba wasikize wanapokuomba baba wasikize katika jina la Yesu Kristo father if there is any sin they might have committed father we take it to the cross now and we sanctify them with the blood of Jesus Christ we sanctify them now with the blood of Jesus Christ and they are cleansed now in the name of Jesus Christ maombi yote watayaomba baba naomba watimizie katika jina la Yesu Kristo oh father receive all the glory and all the home tutakabidhi mchungaji noti mikononi mwako baba naomba umkumbuke anapo endelea kuwa ku, uh, katika kanisa la hili la PC Ngorohi baba naomba upatie uh, nguvu yako kibali chako katika jina la Yesu Kristo even the elders of this church father i pray that father you going to remember them father in the name of Jesus Christ continue walking with the church of Ngorohi father in the name of Jesus Christ the church of Jesus Christ remember them father in the name of Jesus Christ all the elders all the deacons and all the members of PC Ngorohi father i commit them into your hands remember them father in the name of Jesus Christ father we praise your name and we worship you father hear our cry oh father for mercy and deliver us and restoration father in the name of Jesus Christ the preacher of today father we commit him into your hands and upon patia neno baba mtumie kama chombo baba the word is going to share with us father let it come from your throne father in the name of Jesus Christ we thank you father we honor your name we pray all this believing and trusting in Jesus Christ holy name amen our father who art in heaven holy is your name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth that is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not to temptation but deliver us from evil for thy is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen amen hallelujah pasema asante twasem asante Kanisa Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Eh, kwa jina ni Utikas Mwagi. Nasikua hii nafasi kwa salimia katika jina la Yesu Kristo pia kuwakaribisha katika service yetu ya Sadi. Eh, mujisikie mko mahali pale Mungu alikuwa anataka muwe. Mu, mu, Tunapoabudu kwa pamoja, tunaposikiliza neno pamoja, Mungu atatubariki. Nasikua hii nafasi pia kukaribisha mwenenaji wetu siku ya leo ni mmoja wetu tunamjua eh, Evangelist James Evangelist James karibu sana katika kanisa letu ukaweze kukubali Mungu akutumie kadi na mapenzi yake ili ukaweze kutubariki unapotubariki naye Mungu akaweze kukubariki na, na, na tunagoja kwako ili tukaweze kusikia vile Mungu amekutendea karibu sana James Asante Bwana asifiwe na salimu wote katika jina la Yesu Niko naye furaha ya Bwana katika maisha yangu and I'm indeed grateful because of the Lord that what he has done in my heart. I have the testimony but the Lord is the savior of my soul. I have this testimony because I have been meditating the word of God and I was remembering a story of the girl who by the story of the man by the name Jephtha went to for a fight and after he won the battle he gave a promise to god that god when you give me you win you give make us win we shall indeed come back to you and we shall trust in you and we i shall give you whatever shall follow me and what followed him was the girl who was the daughter and when she was she when she fall, he was fall, he followed she she came in the request one request the girl asked the father is that you give me one time and you give me a time with my with my with my friends that I can go and seek the lord what a joy that we have come in the presence of the lord this morning that we have come so that we may worship the lord so that we may look upon the face of god that he may be able to help us so this morning as we listen to the word of god it is my prayer that we are going to hear the voice of god and indeed we are going to be blessed of the lord because of what the lord will have done for us 
I'll read the word of God from the book of Romans chapter number 8 and verse 18. One verse only, because this is what I feel that the Lord wants to speak to us this morning. The book of Romans chapter number 8 and verse 18. And it says, For I consider that suffering of this present time, that are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed to us. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you this morning. We bless you, we honor your name, and glorify your name. Thank you because of your word this morning. As you speak to us, Lord, we pray in you that you shall hear you, God, as you speak to us. Lord, we are waiting to hear from you. The meditations of our heart may be acceptable to you, O God. Our Father, we pray. Amen. I've been thinking about through what is happening this time, and I, the Lord compelled in my heart to think about the suffering that all of us are going through. The, 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 the disease that all, the virus that came in our world today has left us people who are very much confused. I don't know what to say. I was looking in social media and somebody was asking what history shall we write about this year. But I want to believe God has a word for us this morning. That even if all what we have gone through is happening, God is not, is not forgetting us. And that is why the Lord is speaking to us through Apostle Paul, through the book of Romans chapter number 8 and verse 18. Because Paul is speaking to this church of Romans. He is reminding them of what they have been going through. The suffering they are going through, they are expected to go to. Remember, he is preparing his journey to go there. The word of God says that it is with him and the lady by the name Phoebe. He is reminding them of what a, what a suffering that they are going through is not for eternity, but it is going to give them victory if they are going to persevere and if they are going to be people who are going to wait upon the Lord. Even as this morning, the word of God is listening, is speaking to us because there is so much suffering in the world that are, is felt to this degree that sometimes people suffer and actually resort, this suffering, they are resorting to poor choices, sinful actions, and even willful, willingful irresponsibility. But the Lord is speaking to us because he is wanting to remind us, even after all this suffering, that the extent of the suffering raises the profound question about the nature of God. Who is God and his involvement in human? If God is all good, is all-powerful and all-loving, then why would innocent people suffer? And most of all, why would we go through this heartbreaking suffering? And more to that, even of our children who are very innocent, why would innocent children suffer of their sins? Or probably they suffer because of our neglect, our abuse, our, neg our irresponsibility. And in all these cases, Definitely we can say suffering is a result of personal sin, what is called just on the year own. And we learn from this lesson that our sins always will always affect others around us. And at times, innocent children will suffer because of some of the, what we might call the acts of God, or what we could call about national disasters. Maybe they be national accidents. There could be diseases that are coming. And in all these things, the one of God is reminding us that we know one thing about this world, that this is world is not ours. That is the book of John chapter number 18 and verse 36. And those who follow the Lord, they will have to experience good and bad things. But even if we go through that suffering and we are able to endure all these terrible things, they are not compared to the glory that the Lord has for us. Therefore, in terms of distress and suffering, the Lord is speaking to us and reminding us that in Christ we have an anchor that holds off our storms in life and we will never, we will never fail or we cannot be, we will never be, we will never fail because we have an anchor who is Jesus Christ. And that is why we always say that we have the anchor. And we, we have the anchor which is our Lord Jesus Christ. I always like one of the songs that we sing with our brethren of West African Fellowship. 
that kwa na sisi tutashinda kwa damu ya kondoo meaning the blood of jesus is able to give us victory even in times of despair even when we feel that we have reached our end one thing that we have comfort in that god proves his faithfulness to us and he will stay close to us and he has a benefit he has us a benefit that through his comfort trials and temptations we can always be able to comf- he will always be able to comfort us the same way he will help us to comfort others he also proves to us that our faith is real and through suffering and the pain that are and inevitable in this life we are able to respond to this suffering especially when we are innocent of the long doings and more to that god is determined to give us that genuine faith that will give us this victory those who have faith in jesus we know that we have the jesus who is the author and perfecter of our faith that is hebrews chapter number 12 and verse 2 that we will not be able to be crushed by suffering but we will come through the suffering with faith intact having been tested so that it may be found to result in praise and glory that is what gives us the honor and the revelation of Jesus Christ first peter chapter number 1 and verse 7 the faithful do not shake in their fist and at god or question his goodness rather they are reminded by the book of james chapter number 1 and verse 12 that consider it pure joy that's that james chapter number 1 that we consider all joy knowing that the trials prove that we are through the children of god and we are told the book of john chapter number one, james chapter number 1 and verse 12 that blessed is the one who perseveres under trials because having stood the test that person will receive the crown of life that the lord has promised could god have prevented us from suffering yes of course he could but he assures us that all things work out for good for them that love the lord and according to his purpose suffering of the innocent one like some of us is part of all these things that god is pro- is telling us but he accomplishes his good purpose and his ultimate plan for us which is perfect and which of his character that is flawless to those who trust him and he will never disappoint them the bible continually reminds us not to get caught up in things of this world but to look forward that is the word to the world to come the pleasant suffering is temporal meaning it does it will not live forever and therefore while the future glory is eternal suffering is part of process of sharing Christ's death as we conclude god when he finished in his creation he saw it was so good genesis chapter 31 but today the creation that god created is crying it is groaning there is suffering there is death there is diseases there is pain all of which of course is as, as, as a result of adam's sin it is not the fault of creation paul compared it compares it with the women woman in labor that there is pain but pain will end when the child is delivered one day creation will be delivered and groaning creation will become a glorious creation Therefore brothers and sisters in the Lord it is my prayer I want to encourage you this morning that in spite of very real struggle that we are going through God is assuring us that he remains to be king of kings and we are assured that when Christ returns all things will be restored and this includes the end of suffering therefore it is my prayer that we are going to persevere the, the challenges that we are going through the pain that we are going through the diseases and all those things that are making us feel pining that god will help us to persevere in them so that we may move victorious to the glory and honor of his name shall we pray heavenly father we we thank you we thank you because of bringing us in a world where lord there is evil and which is filled with our hearts with fears in terror 
which we see all what is happening in the world around us. But we place you that you have promised to uphold all your children with your gracious hand. When we are faced with all, solo, with all sorts of hollow and, and dangers, that no matter what we have to face in this life, you will always be with us and comfort us and help us. Thank you, Father, for your plans of mankind will ensure be realized. Father, we have no crew of hot plans and difficulties of us may face. But what a comfort to know that you have overcome every evil for us. Sin, Satan, and even death. It is having already overcome this that you have given us Jesus Christ in his everlasting life. We thank you because you are faithful and ever loving God. And we pray that when freezing figures of fear start to clasp, that our allowed our thoughts, and that warmth of your love, grace will melt away all our fears. We look unto you, Jesus, our Savior, and our friend whom we pray and give thanks. Amen. God bless you. God do you good. Have a blessed week. Thank you. Asante sana, Evangelist James. Sababu yata ya kutulisa kiroho. Hakika mugu wa mekutumia vizuri sana. Kujube ukawa muema zaidi. Hata ukitukubusa. Haa yote abatu na yapitia. Tumaindi letu uliko kwa mugu. Tua kusukuli sana. Mugu wa zidi kukuwagiaza megi. Na hata kuhubiria ya igine. E, Musikilizaji wetu. Mahali popote ulio, ulipo. Najuu mebalikiwa sana na hata hiyo nene ya siku ya leo. Ni asubuhi gine jema tuwa kukubusa. E, ukaweza kutoa sadaka yako. Ukaweza pia kukubuka taithi yako. Ile naba iku hapa kwa screen. 23.50.68. Ukaweza ya kwa paybill. Utume sadaka yako. Na kama unapeana donation yako. Adika donation. E, mahali pale utaweka distate yako. Na najua utabarikiwa unapofanya hivo. Na oba tuweze kusimama, tuweze kusema the grace, ili tufike tamati ya ibada. Tusimame. And now may the, the grace of the Lord, Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.